Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a review of a product that was sent to me through Octoly. And Octoly is a website that um, acts as a go-between between, between creators and brands and brings them together in order for us creators to get products, to do reviews, and try out and see what we think, and then to share that information on to you guys. So, when I first heard about this product, I was very, I was actually pretty excited because I thought it would be a good alternative or a inexpensive alternative to some of the higher end um, cleansing powders that I have been talking about like Tatcha and Amore Pacific, just to name a few. And so what I'm talking about is this product here and it's by Biore. And it's a baking soda, baking soda, a baking soda cleansing scrub. And it is this guy right here. And it's just a powder that you add water to to create a cleanser. <clears throat> now you can purchase it at different retailers such as Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, different places like that. And the price is going to vary from retailer to retailer. I have found that Walmart usually is a few dollars cheaper than let's say, you know, um, Walgreens. This one that they did send to me does have a coupon on it to get $2 off. So that could be a possibility when you're looking for this in the store to maybe see if there's one that has a coupon on it. But it is around $10 is the price on it. And it's four and a half ounces. Now, this was sent to me and it is more or less more geared toward people with combo skin and combo skin combo to oily not combo to dry or to dry because this will dry your skin out. Um, it is a powder to foam formulation and you can adjust the intensity of the exfoliation by either dialing up the water or dialing down the water depending on how much water you add to the product. You only have to do a um, quarter size amount of product and it does have a little flip top right there that you just push and you, the lid comes open and then it has a spout here to pull out or to pour out the product. I personally feel that the spout is just a little bit too big because the first time I did it um, I wasn't expecting it to come out as quickly as it did and I got a little bit more than the quarter size amount and I didn't want to open my container to pour it back in so I just went ahead and added my water. So the first time I used it my consistency was a little bit more of a paste type feeling and definitely a very good scrub that it did. I mean it did leave my skin very smooth and clean and really really squeaky clean almost but it also kind of dried my skin too. And um, the next time I used it I used less product and then more water and then I got a really good foaming exfoliation versus that pasty exfoliation that I had the first time that I used it. <clears throat> And I'm going to try really hard not to cough through this video. I've had a horrible, I think I'm trying to get a cold. Anyway, um, now <clears throat> there is a lot of controversy out there with the product that is in here, an ingredient that is in here, and that is the baking soda. Baking soda, on one hand, you can hear a lot of people saying, oh, just get baking soda that you have in the fridge, add some water to it make it into a cleanser and you have a you know a DIY cleanser. Well the issue with that is that baking soda in its truest form without any dilution, without having anything added to it, has an alkaline of a nine. Our skin is anywhere between a four and a half to five. And anytime that you alter the pH balance of your skin, you're going to cause a little bit of a reaction on your skin. Um, if you have too much alkaline, you're going to have dryness and roughness and fine lines and wrinkles. 
And then on the other hand, if you have too much acid in your skin, you know, the acid level, pH level in your skin is too low, then you're going to have oily, um, you're going to be prone to breakouts, and you're going to have irritations on your skin. So it's a very fine balance on how to make sure that the products that we're using on our skin aren't altering that pH balance to where that it's too acidic or too alkaline. You kind of have to really make sure that it's kind of, you know, in between there. And with this, I feel like because the main ingredient, the very first ingredient in here is baking soda. Now it does say on here, on the little tag here, um, where did it go? Yeah, right here it says pH balanced. Now, what does pH balanced mean? pH balanced means, and I'm looking at my notes, that it's maintaining the neutral or the natural occurring pH level of the substance or environment. Now, in order to make sure that a product is pH balanced, with it being a powder and you're adding water to it or you're adding a, a micellar water to it, you're going to be altering the pH. And so pH balance from what I have read, what I have researched on Google and different things that I've read, any time a product that says it's pH balanced is pretty much just a marketing gimmick. There's really not any way to quote, quote, pH balance a product. Now, I think maybe the reason why they're saying that maybe it's a pH balance is because it does have <clears throat> some um, cit citrus in it, aka lemon, but that is so far down on the list of ingredients that I don't think that it's enough to balance out the alkaline because citrus is an acid and then the alkaline, you know, the baking soda is alkaline. So it, it's not enough in there to balance it out. So you're still, you still have too much alkaline and also this does have menthol in it so if you're very sensitive to menthol you definitely would want to stay clear of this product even though the menthol is <clears throat> the very last um, ingredient in here without even looking at the ingredients because usually I will use a product first when I'm testing it out and then I'll look at the ingredients. And first of all, I did notice that there was definitely a citrus scent to it. So that, first of all, alerted me to the fact that there was some kind of um, citric in here. And then second of all, the menthol. I definitely felt the menthol. It was very cooling to my skin and I could definitely smell the menthol. <clears throat> now I will tell you, the first time, like I said, it did dry my skin out because I felt like, you know, obviously that I used too much because it was more of a paste than it was the foaming um, aspect of it. But even after using it just with the foaming, I did still feel, after I washed it, my face with it, my face still felt kind of dry and tight. Now keep in mind, I do have dry, mature skin. So for me, this product is probably not a good match for me at all. Um, <clears throat> so, and with that being said, with there being so much controversy on baking soda and the fact that this has baking soda as the very first ingredient, I can't sit here and tell you that you need to go out and get it and try it. Um, it did make my skin feel very smooth. I will tell you that. I mean, it felt like it was very good exfoliating. It was a gentle exfoliation. I didn't feel any tugging or pulling on my skin because it's just a very, very, very fine powder. I mean, we all know what baking soda looks like. Um, and I don't know if I tell you the price. It's around $10, which is, you know, very economical, but I don't know. I, I just think there's just too much controversy on it. And I'm afraid that even though I've, it felt good and it made my skin really smooth, that the long-term effects of using a product that is too alkaline is going to cause my skin to be more vulnerable, vulnerable to the 
outside elements, you know, the environmental elements as far as like um, bacteria that's in the air, um, the free radicals that are in the environment. So I spend too much money on my skincare and trying to take care of my skin to ruin everything that I've done and am doing by using a product like this. Anyway, but I also want to mention that it had was also um, featured in the Style Watch for October of 2016. Um, this magazine was doing the best in beauty by all the different categories. And this was mentioned in the best in beauty of the face, which is right here. So, but from my research and from using it, I just feel like that it's too harsh. And I really don't feel like this is going to be a product that will be on the market much longer. Anyway, there you have it. That's my thoughts. That's my review on it. Um, from this point forward, I'm not going to use any more of it. And if you do decide to purchase it, I would just um, proceed with caution. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.